good to go. Thank you so much. I'm going to open this meeting of the Bisbee Arts Commission on Monday, August 7th, 2023 at 5.31 p.m. First thing, call to order. Or, I just did that roll call. <laughs> Bill Higgins. Here. David Newfield is excused. Holly Priestley. Here. Janet Rednalls is excused. Angela Rockefeller. Here. Karen Schumacher. Here. Tracy Taylor is excused. Leslie Johns, council Here. liaison. Perfect. Um, no call to public. We do not have an audience this evening. We're gonna, I know there's quite a few on here. I think some of these we're gonna skip or bang through uh, because some of them are in regards to requests that people made that are not here this evening. As we know, the Disney Arts Commission is in Maine, mostly. So for us trolls who are loved here. <laughs> so, uh, I think there's a few, but we'll go through the order and see how it goes. Item one, approval of the minutes of the July 10, 2023 meeting. Do I have a motion? I move to approve the minutes of the July 10th, 2023 meeting. Do I have a second? A second. All ayes? Aye. Aye. Thank you. Second thing, discussion regarding the final report for the Gender Queer Artist Showcase. We were thrilled to give a grant for this. I think that a few of us got to go. We thought they did a great job, a lot of young people yes. during Pride Weekend. Um, if you go to the back here, you're going to see what they spent the money on. So Oliver Cruz was the recipient, it went through them. Um, I'm really thrilled that $12 went to tampons for sculpture. <laughs> Usually it's not that itemized. Yeah. That's pretty great. Does anybody see anything they have a question about? Nope. Real good. We don't have to vote on anything. It's just making sure that, I mean, essentially what we want when somebody gets a grant is them to spell out what they did with the money mm -hmm. and, you know, what the reaction from the community was. This was obviously in Bisbee during Pride. I was really impressed. Me too. I was really impressed. I thought it was a great show. Mm -hmm. It's always cool to see, especially sometimes it can feel like a very geriatric community, so it's always nice to see a bunch of 20-year-olds making art too. Mm -hmm. you know? there was, it was a mix, but there were a lot of younger people, so that was cool. Thank you guys so much for doing that. Um, anything else on the final report for the Gender Queer Artist Showcase? I see we're going to bang through this. All right. Item three, discussion of possible approval of a date and budget for the proposed social media class at Copper Queen Library. This has been changed. So, Central School, we had a hard time getting a hold of the library, speaking of the library committee. Um, Do you want me to reach out to them? No, we're just going to have it at Central School. Okay. <laughs> I thought that was easier. So I got to an answer. So, Holly yes. is hosting this. You have your choice of any date because there's multiple rooms. Any old date. So you can say whatever day. date you want. Perfect. I would say probably you want to vote on tonight, end of September is what you're thinking. Uh -huh. So we have enough enough time to put a poster out next meeting. Yeah. So what would your preference be? You guys know the artist that must be a little better than I do. Mm -hmm. um, I was thinking like a weeknight. Evening or something to the I totally show up. <laughs> yeah, no, I agree. I think some people always have a tendency to want to put things on Saturday, like days. Yeah. But yeah, the problem is, is that the majority of our population works on Saturdays. Yeah. And we need that tourist money, so. so maybe I, like in the afternoon. Yeah, or, or like even after five. Yeah. It, it's up to you. And she asked me to quote the amount of time. Do you know how many hours do you, do you think it would be? I expect it to be an hour. An hour. Maybe a little longer if you and so this is their the pricing. One hour is thirty dollars to rent the room. Two hours is sixty dollars to rent the room. Three hours goes down to seventy five. Can't explain that. <laughs> if you do two sessions of two hours, it then is a hundred. And I don't think this mathematically makes any sense, but they wanted to help. Well, let's just yeah. do one hour. Okay. Um, and we'll I would say after 5 p.m. and I do a Wednesday or Thursday. That's what I was thinking. How about like 5.30 on the 28th? Oh, cool. You're right. I'm so sorry. You okay. 5.30, 28th? Mm -hmm. 
5.30 on the 28th, Central School. And do you want to make a poster since it's your thing? I can make a poster. And you want to bring it to the next one so we can see it? Mm -hmm. um, so 5.30, it would be probably 6.30, right? We can yeah. say 5.30, 6.30. Yeah. And if you need it, well, I'll be there too to help set up chairs and all that fun stuff. That would be great. Yeah, that's, you know, 99% of all nonprofit activity is setting up chairs. <laughs> um, that's what it seems like. So I'll tell her 30 bucks then for that. And um, my other questions, that was good. So are you, is everybody, the budget? I like to set the budget higher, even if you don't use it in case you come across something. Yeah. Oh, the poster being printed and that $30 to pay central school. Can you think of anything else you need money for? I don't think so. So what would be an appropriate budget for you? Okay, higher than appropriate budget would be like $75. So we're going to set it at 100 just because we can do colored posters. Yeah, okay. yeah. So once we have the posters and you bring them to the next thing or so, we can, we'll can just go ahead and print them color. Okay. And then we won't have to worry. Color, color print outs are kind of expensive, I think. I don't know where you guys print around here, but everyone does posters, so somebody knows. Uh, I do Vista print usually because I'm really cheap. Okay. Now that we don't have a logo. Yeah, I think yeah. the place on the corner will, next to the convention center will still do it too. Yeah, yeah. Frank Barco. Rebel. What's what they call? Uh, Frank Barco. It's um. Does he still do it? He does a lot. He does he our business cards there. He does a bunch of stuff. So. And he does a newspaper still. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Anyway. Options. Totally. <laughs> so, do I have a motion? Then we're going to move. I'll say it just to make it easy. I think move to approve a social media class at Central School Project at 5:30 Thursday the 28th, and a budget of $100. Is that okay? Mm -hmm. Do I have a second? I second. Okay. All eyes. Aye. Aye. Excellent. So, if anybody does we have anything, anything else we need for that? You tell us when you need something, okay? I will let you know. Yeah, that's great. Now you're just going to be talking at and then answering questions. So. Yeah, we're just going to get it out as soon as we can. Yeah. Um, and I'm going to have you call Lori, the director of Central School. Okay. She knows you're going to call her. Okay. Just so you guys can connect, okay? And I'll send you her contact. She is kind of on vacation. I don't know what that means. <laughs> but um, she knows that you... She, she told me that you can have whatever they want. <laughs> so let's see. I don't think she's in Maine. She's not in Maine. <laughs> <laughs> she is on board of um, No, she's trying to get vacation. It's just so hard for some people, you know, to get away. Sometimes when you get away, there's this like quadruple the work waiting for you when you get back. So I feel. All right. I'm just sitting and taking a moment to send this to Holly. That's Lori's contact. Okay. So if she doesn't answer, just leave a message. Quite that should be good. Okay. Tell her that time and those dates, and we'll go from there. Excellent. <coughs> Here's my favorite. Item four, discussion of possible approval to pay for the repair of the old Bisbee bulletin board. <laughs> First thing, he didn't give me a number on how to just to fix the bulletin board, because I think that he doesn't want to just fix the bulletin board. <laughs> Which, we could discuss that, but that's just kind of part of, last time he did. We did discuss it at one point. And we did it like almost the same. Yeah, it was, it was like, like very similar pricing, and so it made it real obvious that which direction <laughs> we wanted to go. Wendell desperately wants to double the size of the bulletin board. Which I think it needs to be. I mean, it gets used. He built outside the library. That's, that would be Big bulletin board. I know. But the mayor had those. The mayor had those telephone things removed theoretically, so we could do it. Uh -huh. So it would be from column to column. You know those metal. Yeah, yeah. All the way up to. I can't even say what that bit, those benches are called <laughs> on, on public record, but. Well, you. <laughs> Never mind. Don't say it. <laughs> to, the, to, the, to the entrance that you go. Yeah, in. yeah, yeah. So it is, and so the reason we're. We're doing it like this, so we already voted on it, but then COVID happened. We went through this whole story last time, and it's just like, it's insane how many times we got put off about it. For different reasons, some of my own. Um, it's back, 
it would cost $4,200 to double it and clean it and, and put the cork back because the cork's all taken out. Um, Part of the reason why Public Works didn't put the cork back in is because they thought that we were eventually going to do it because we had said we would. So now, years later, no, it's only been like a year. So, um, but the reason we're doing it like this is because we, after what happened with the Bendel bench in the park, with some people being upset that it was there, mm -hmm. the mayor thought it would be in our best interest to take this proposal, if we decide to vote on it, to council and let people know that this was the plan. All right. What, so, so. I'll have to think about it a little bit and go down and look at the space. I know, that's what we're kind of, we're giving, we already voted to do it a couple yeah. years ago. I mean, it would definitely, it would, it makes, makes it double the size. Double the size. Yeah. The size it currently is, it was usually to pass you though, wasn't it? Yeah. You know, so I mean, the question is, would it actually get used? And is it hindering any views? It's not, it's just a parking lot. Well, he's, yeah. he's, he's, he's written this thing. So let's see, I'll, I'll read aloud what he's written here on this proposal. Okay. Double the available horizontal surface area of front and back with new plywood and a new cork. Then it would be a sound and visual barrier from noise and automotive activity on Commerce Street. <laughs> Commerce Street is crazy, you know? <laughs> Easy street. It will require four days of on-site installation. No time outside install will be, no, so no time outside of that install will the board be unavailable for you. So that answered Tracy's question. Yeah. She was worried the How long it would be down. He's claiming it's going to be down four days, but he can only begin after December 1st. Okay. Oh, because of other obligations and stuff? Yeah, because he has like 10 projects right now. Yeah. I know. So, I mean, we could like, still, that's what, I mean, I, I kind of agreed with that when I got this. Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, we don't have to vote on this tonight. There's no, we're missing a bunch of people. This has been a thing. I wanted to get the bulletin board fixed for years now. Mm -hmm. And it just seems like the universe really doesn't want me to fix the bulletin board. For some reason. But <laughs> um, and Ben now wants to double the size of the bulletin board. So why don't we do this? Unless, why don't we all go look at it? Um, individually and see what we think about that. I've looked at it. I think it would be fine. Mm -hmm. I mean, I know that part of the, it's too crowded. Mm -hmm. People feel like there's no place to put anything. That's true. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so this would solve the problem eternally. Mm -hmm. And if this wasn't enough room, we just have to say, you guys all need to slow down, take some days off. We always take the facade of the post office. <laughs> <laughs> So, I mean, I think the intentions are good. I really wanted to get it fixed. It needs some care anyway. Mm -hmm. And I will go back and try and just get a proposal to, to just fix it. But he's being a little um, basic about that one. Mm -hmm. So, but I, we need to put pork in it. It looks yeah. horrible right now, mm -hmm. yeah. regardless. And it was my understanding, even though Public Works took the cork out, they didn't feel comfortable putting it back in. I don't know. It was just like really complicated. I feel like we could put the cork back in the cork. So will you look at it too as our representative? Yeah, I'll totally look at it and then, you know, if you guys are all in agreement that it needs to be done, my job is to advocate for you. So I still want to start another fire. Yeah. I just yeah. <laughs> and, yeah. Um, and I mean, obviously we put things up. There's nothing there. It's kind of a that's empty what, space. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I'm like, you know, yeah. if it was blocking the front of some building or a mural or something that'd be different, but it's actually just parking spaces okay. behind it and in front of it. That's true. So so it's not like it's yeah. blocking it. It actually would probably block might, that person that usually the homeless encampment. It's 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 <laughs> oh my God. Well, this is the other part of it too that makes it a little complicated. I forgot about this. But it, but it, used, it was less before, and so we budgeted three thousand dollars for this project this year. There's some leeway because there's money that is flexible within the, the budget. But I need to talk to Nina about that too and see, because he's saying that now because of material increase, mm -hmm. that is now this much. But it used to be a lot less, which is understandable. And honestly, I mean the nice thing about Bindale, well it's nice for us, but not for him, is he underbids everything. Yeah, absolutely. 
So I mean, and materials have gone up exponentially. So but that'll give me a chance to talk to Nina about what we could do flexibility-wise too. So are you guys okay with just tabling us for right yeah. now? And I, I just want a few more people. I know the mayor was in support of it, which is cool. But maybe we should all look at it. I still have not the mood to start a fire. Well, it's one of those things where I think people will be like, ah, oh, the way they are about any change at first. But I think <laughs> yeah. once they think about it and realize that like we can fit more stuff on there and it's yeah. not really blocking anything, it would they would come to see it as okay. We can look at this. Well, I thought the public at least would be happy with the fact that it's being changed by the person who built it in the first place. Yeah. Absolutely. And so at least that they're not going to destroy it. Yeah. Potentially, you would think they would. <laughs> right. Let's hope. Hey. So yeah, I need. To, but I, I was, I need to talk to the city, I need to talk to the city about the money too, so. But this is it so far. I'll see if I can get, if I can pull the other thing out of them. And with us having three people absent, if this is a potential fire, it'd be better for us to have everybody's vote mm -hmm. on the board. Yeah, or at least another one. <laughs> yeah. Some of these people are never coming back from me. <laughs> I don't know, is it, when is Tracy going to go? I don't know. Yeah. The date cha keeps changing, so. Uh, no wonder because they look at the weather here. I know. Um, <laughs> Nobody wants to come back. So I move to. So would that be fine? Or should I yep, move to? Yeah, you move to table. I move to table um, this approval to pay for the repair of the old busy bulletin board. Do I have a second? Second. All eyes. Aye. Aye. Thank you. This is my dream, but I'm willing to. I just there's a few things we need to figure out. Okay, item five, discuss, discussion of possible approval for the poster for the art supply exchange on October 7th. I found it. It's on my phone. This is not the way it's supposed to be. Done. <laughs> um, but I would like to, it needs a couple changes, right? Yeah, we're going to add, like, what not to bring, and then the logo. Well, uh, let's show. Yeah, let me take a look. Yeah, yeah. I'll show you next, okay? That's in a copy of the city. Sounds yeah, like it. Yeah, I mean, it was just a basic mock up. We wanted something simple. Yeah. We were going to put the uh, logo mm -hmm. of the Arts Commission on there. This is the question Do you think that we need to spell out what not to bring to an art supply exchange? Because it really is wide open. I mean, people have given me toilet paper of the East before because they thought it was an art supply, which theoretically could be. Yeah. Um, or we just like deal with it. I say we just deal with it because I feel like if we make a list in order for it to actually be a functional list, it'd have to be like a thousand objects. I mean, you'd have to. Yeah, no body parts. I know. I mean, but I thought it was nothing. Like, you you could put like nothing that can decompose. I think we just. <laughs> I think we, just <laughs> we treat it as a learning lesson. And we see what people what, bring. Yeah, and then we decide what needs to go on the list for the future. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What a sort of running list of things people brought that they should not have. Yes. Um, yeah. It feels the easiest. Um, but yeah, you and I, if we can nail out just the, the change with the logo, we can get it printed. We can sit yep. in the city and get it printed. I just need a transparent yep. background. The one you sent me that didn't have a picture of that. Yes, I, I, I didn't have the, it was like a... I sent it on Photoshop picture. and take it out. I can do that for you. Cool. It's just a matter of what computer. I only have Photoshop on my home computer. Yes. You and me, this cool. week, we're going to do it, right? Yeah. Right. It's super easy to add. Once I have a well, then we're gonna, parent background. <laughs> then we're going to print them. And then we will, in the next week or two, do an online, the big, start, start, start the... Yeah, the process. Yeah, yeah, the mm -hmm. process. Does that sound good? The bell curve mm -hmm. of the promotion. It's two months. Yeah. It's, it's plenty of time. Yeah. Yeah, so now is the time. Does that sound good to you? Yeah. Okay. I'll get you that thing. I move to approve the poster for the Art Supply Exchange on October 7th, 2023. Do I have a second? A second. All ayes? Aye. Aye. Any nays? I'm just kidding. Um, you would have already nayed right now. Um. Sounds great. So we're banging through. This was one discussion regarding creating a policy to purchase senior portfolios for the high school art class. I thought it would be nice to do every year. Yeah. We did it this year. It was great. They were adorable. I loved them all. And honestly, like, 
we don't get a lot of interaction with the high school kids. Yeah. The question was, so this year we, we bought portfolios for the art club, uh -huh. juniors and seniors. Going forward, what do you think the best thing would to be to do? I think it would be nice to focus on the seniors who are going to be getting ready to leave school mm -hmm. and need to present their work. You know, what do you think? I mean, so we just buy it for the seniors every year? Yeah. I think the juniors could really use it too. You think so? I feel like at that age, like being encouraged. Maybe earlier. because they, they also need the time. Yeah, because they need the time. And like, you know, if they're not being encouraged to continue doing it, then they might not make it to senior status with like their art projects, you know? Well, the, Amy Brett, the reason she brought it to us was because it, these kids were spending all this time making artwork. And they cramming. And then cramming it in their backpacks. And it was yeah. killing her. Yeah. So I think, I mean, it, it wasn't like a really super expensive yeah, thing. Yeah, do, do you remember? It was remember? Like $400 maybe. Yeah, it, yeah. it was on Amazon. It was not crazy. I remember it yeah. being affordable. Yeah. They weren't like the over-the-top right. portfolios. So, I mean. But I would just like to, if you guys are okay with it, put it on in the next agenda to vote as a yeah. policy that we just do this every year. Yeah. As our encouragement to the kids, you know? I mean, young yeah. adults. And I'll have the total. On the next agenda. Oh, okay, cool. Thank yeah, you. and that's going to change every time too. Right, but we can have a ballpark at yeah. least. Totally. And so does that sound interesting? Yeah. That? And um, I would like to get some Bisbee Arts Commission stickers to put on the portfolios. Yeah. I'm wondering if you know it's something we consider having, like a little. You know, we want to do like a Christmas party for the cigar or something. Mm -hmm. Having them kind of present their portfolios to the community at that party or something. I mean, I don't know. Or something. Just, well, I know they were interested in um, doing the cigar machine themselves, uh -huh. having a, you know, one, one thing for the whole high school. Oh, for the high school. Yeah, but then, it, then summer hit, and they yeah. all ran away. Yeah, of course. So, but um, as soon as, we're, we're back in school now, so we yeah. can talk to Amy about it. Okay. It, Why don't we put on the next um, agenda to discuss ways to connect with the public school, with the high school? That sounds great. Oh good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I was still thinking. I'm sorry. I no. just like I went. I had a mini stroke. Um, no, I figured you were processing. I yeah, I was just, train. Well, I was just trying to think of anything else. So I can have a discussion regarding map of the galleries. Ha ha. I don't have it. I don't know where the graphic designer is. She was supposed to have it to me last week. But she's on the road and she was going to finish it. So we're going to table that. Yeah. That's okay. why I said there's only six because I I really thought I would have it, but I don't. Okay. Um, item 8, discussion regarding maintenance of public art. Unless somebody really wants to talk about this this evening, this was something that Tracy really wanted to talk about. I would prefer to wait until she's here then. Okay. Yeah, so this is fun. <laughs> item 9, discussion regarding collaboration with Object Limited. I know we talked with Holly about that, right? Yeah, we, I talked to Rachel about doing like an art supply swap or a pop up with the art supply store from Tucson, but I haven't heard anything else from her since then. Everybody's moving like molasses. This I know. Um, <laughs> this is it's like, the heat. We it's the local the activity thing. thing. Yeah. Yeah. We'll just, we'll put it back on and see if you have anything mm -hmm. to say. Cause I think that if we do it at the park and it's successful, it'd be fun to do it every couple months. Yeah. yeah. Like yeah. at a quarter. At different thing. locations. Um, I think there's more than enough art supplies to go around. Yeah. Anything else about that? All right, and this is a really preliminary discussion regarding Sig Art Christmas Party. In the past, we had had a Christmas party for the Sig Art Machine. It was a great time to remind everybody that was there and that $20 is a great deal for a Christmas present. Mm -hmm. um, so would we be looking at the, like earlier in December or? I think we did. Uh, I, I can't remember. We if we're wanting parties. people to actually purchase. Early December-ish. Yeah. We can start looking at dates. Okay. Usually we get the pages to do food because it's right there. Yeah. I think our budget last time was like 500 or something. Okay. And we supplied, I'm trying to remember if we had a bar or if we, because we can get a license if we wanted to, but, mm -hmm. or if we just gave a, we always have booze because it really helps sell, but I can't remember how we did it. <laughs> I thought it was a donation thing. I don't remember, but we can pull it and look. 
I can look to. It doesn't matter. It just it really is. I mean, we don't have to. We can do whatever we want. But I always think it's a nice thing because then people can come and we invite the artists through the machines, and then you can meet the people, and we can have share in there, dressed like a Christmas tree. You know, <laughs> and then, that'd be great. Well, and we're you know having since we're not having our large the year after our big festival, mm -hmm. I think having a little bit of presence and having people be able to come and see what we're still doing. Yeah, yeah, it's always a good, good idea. And people love it. It's been, yeah. there's always like, there were a lot of people when we did it before. Yeah, that was my first ever event of your guys' Oh, cool. So, we want to start looking at dates, um, brainstorming about do we want music, on a Bisbee event without some band. I know. Um, can't think of a Christmas band. That's like somebody. <laughs> Christmas. I know it's Christmas band. <laughs> um, like I said, food is usually because yeah, the pages right there don't regularly charge us to rent the space for the cigar. Which we have paid them before, but I feel like it's very irregular. So we always kind of we just buy the food from them. Mm -hmm. um, if that building ever sells, it's going to be change things. I just don't ever have to move that machine. But uh, I don't know, anything you guys think that you, would, would be fun. And obviously it's not a Christmas party, it's a holiday party. Yeah. Let me change that right now. I will change that. That was me. Um, yeah, singers, I don't know. We can have some um, pole dancers. You absolutely can. Just like um, elves. Like the Christmas tree. Yeah. Sharon's gonna dress like a Christmas tree. Sharon's gonna have a Christmas tree out for her. What else? Yeah. No, we have Santa. Santa pulled in. Oh, that'd be. Oh my God, I'm being Jim dressed up as Santa. <laughs> With those kind of things, we plan pretty far in advance because it does take up the food. All the organizing takes a little while. Um, same thing, like two to three months out. But start thinking about. You know, this is just the, the preliminary brainstorming, what you think would be fun or funny, or both. <laughs> I think that would be really nice. It's really, it, we have a good time when we have a party and the community really comes up. Yeah. Yeah. Anything else? There's the food, music, entertainment, mm -hmm. booths. Mm -hmm. I know the booths is so cool. Also, the most expensive. Um, Brainstorming future projects. Anybody got anything that's not on this agenda that they would like on the next agenda or that we're not touching on? I know that we have coming up. So we have Holly's class. So once fall comes, things start banging. And it's up. Oh, yeah, Holly's class. Uh, the exchange. exchange. And then the holiday party. No, no, no. Uh, meeting with gallery owners. Oh, yeah. Which was when we give them the map and find out what they really want in this world. That's right. And then a holiday party. That's, so a, we, that's a lot. Is, yeah, so we're not, we're not doing anything else. Yeah, I don't, let's not have anything else. <laughs> yeah. We're still in recovery. Sounds good? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, all right, item 12, update discussion regarding the following SIG art machine. I have given money to the city. We made like $300 this month. Uh, There's a couple things going on. Number one, if you have gone downtown, you might be the only one because <laughs> Nobody is dead. Yeah. And I also think that we have a problem with, because it's so hot in the convention center, because there's no, the sticky things on the boxes. Because oh. the thing has gotten jammed. It's been jammed twice. twice. Or, yes, mm -hmm. because every time I go, the boxes are unsticking themselves. And so I've unjammed it twice, when statistically it's every other month that gets jammed. So twice in one month. Yeah. So it's possible we've lost money. I don't know what to do about it, because we could, yeah. You and I could go stick all the boxes back to the other. Yeah, we could do that. We could do a check. Well, we made like 12, 1300 last month. And it just yeah. went. But even, I mean, if you don't know, I have a bunch of um, gumball machines and I'm making nothing because there's nobody around. Yeah. I have one person come in the hand shop today. Oh my God. I know. It's crazy. Yeah. It's just too hot. It is. But I think it's that mixed with the fact that I think it might be jammed more. Okay. And it could have been jammed. I go once a week usually. So I've been trying to go more often because of that. I had to get one of Risha's tiny pots. Un it got stuck in the gears. It was actually pretty funny because the pots like this big. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know what else to do about it. I mean, we could go through and like make sure they're restocked, but. 
Is it weird? Or just pop up it's just head? popping over. Yeah. We could double stick tape them, but um, the only good thing is is that we just we just really stock it well, and we're ready for fall. Mm -hmm. It'll get busy again. Yep. Because that's when it, you know, you know it is. Have you guys got any new art that you want to send a picture of? Um, yeah, we have back stock, but it's not of anything new to present. I mean, if it's new stuff from artists that are still in there, that's fine. <coughs> I just got Cat Daddy. I'll send you a picture of Cat Daddy's new stuff. Yeah. Because they're not boxed. No, I have not. And then you gave me... Lori's, they're already pre-packaged. We could throw up another photo of the old ones. It's the same kind of stuff. Angela gave me more instead of Jim. Cool. Yeah. But they boxed them for us. I blame me. Did you take the It's before you box them? because it's the same as I don't color. care. <laughs> Repetition is good. <laughs> you know how many of your followers we've gotten on the Instagram? You want me to just send you the pictures? Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. <laughs> All right. Problem solved. Repetition song. is good. All right. All right. Speaking of social media, we got a bunch of new followers. Yeah, we've been getting a lot of new cool. followers lately. You did a good job. I saw Janet's profile. Yeah, she yeah. finally got me her bio. Yeah. I know she was she was very excited. Yeah, good. Yeah. Yeah. I think I've profiled everybody now then. I think I've everybody. Except for Ashley. And Leslie. I'm good. Uh -huh. Leslie. <laughs> <laughs> Liaison. Uh -huh. <laughs> Sounds so much sexier. I it know. Is. Um yeah, we'll send you more photos. I'll take pictures of the cat daddy ones at least. Oh. And uh, I took pictures of the reach. Did we get the little tiny pots? We can get pictures of little tiny pots. We did. But we don't know if we sent them to Holly. I think I saw them in a story, and the Arts Commission was tagged in a story, so I reshared the story, but I haven't shared it as a post because I didn't get a static picture. Mm. Sounds like my fault. But we did um, update the little the mini museum mm -hmm. in the glass Yeah, that's that so is very Paul and I went in and, and re reinvigorated the... Oh, and Jim wanted to know, do you want a specific one specifically for for the mini, one of his? We probably took one. I know we didn't have it at that time. Yeah, we need one. Okay, because he oh, has one that's a quarter inch too big for the box. Oh, that's great. Because I, that's why I used to... <laughs> Risha made a part that was like a quarter inch too big for the box, and that's why it was one of those... Yeah. Things. So yes, otherwise, I just take it out and we pay them for it because it ends up in the museum. All right. He said but this one should go. Oh, Holly and I opened it up and she reorganized the museum. And so there is the mini museum right next to the cigar machine with everybody's work in it. Mm -hmm. Unlabeled. Is that enough? Right there. Most of it is labeled. Yeah. Um, but the new ones are. <laughs> our window. Janet's not here. Deal is. She needs to talk to the museum. As soon as the window is fixed, they need us again. But unclear. Anybody know when that's going to happen? She's been covered with a tarp for like four months. Outside the restoration museum? I yeah. Anything. The uphill one that got broken. Yeah. Yeah, they took all the glass out now. It's just like a hole. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I will give a chance about that. And I will send photo of pods and cat Betty. And then even that poster finish. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Anyway, um does anybody have anything to say about the art window? Other than that? It was great when it was going on. Um it's just last year we burned out. So item 13, future agenda items, I think we've just given a bunch. I put a bunch for the next meeting, and then the new one was ways to connect with the high school. And we can get Amy over here, we'll drag her back. <laughs> She's pretty nice about it. She was good to the commission member. So anything else, future agenda items that you guys want to talk about? We really, I'm just like speedy Gonzales, look at this. It's, it's four minutes after <laughs> six. I have to. I have an hour to kill before aerial yoga. Before <laughs> Angela destroys me. Oh, <laughs> she always has a big smile on her face. It's not true. <laughs> um. Then I'm going to hand it over to the one, the only, Bill Higgins. I move that we adjourn. I second. All eyes. Aye. Aye. Thank you guys so much, and thank you for your speediness this evening. <laughs> <laughs>